Hi, this is Joel Persinger, the gun guy. Thank you very much for watching my videos. I deeply appreciate it. Now, I don't know if you remember an old movie that came out in, I think, 83 or 84. It starred Burt Reynolds and Clint Eastwood. It was a comedy set back in the 1930s or 20s or something. One of them played a cop, the other one played a PI. Anyway, it was called City Heat. And there's a really idiotic shootout scene in there where the two of them are drawn one pistol after another and the barrels keep getting longer and longer and longer. And no matter what Burt Reynolds does, he can't seem to get a bigger gun than Clint Eastwood has got. Well, I bring that up because of this monster I got right here, where the barrel just keeps on coming out and coming out. Holy hell! I did a video recently with a Ruger Mark III 22 target pistol, and a buddy of mine called me up and said, I can beat that. I've got a Mark II with a 10-inch barrel, and he wasn't lying. That's got a 10-inch barrel on it, and this is a Ruger Mark II target pistol. You'll notice the really great target sights on the top of it and the heavy barrel. And this gun is heavy as a result of the heavy barrel, but not too bad. Now the Mark IIs were a little bit different than the Mark III's. Obviously each level they improved them a little bit. Uh, one of the things with the Mark II's is that the magazine release is back here instead of on the side of the pistol. With the Mark II and Mark I you have to roll this back a little bit and that allows you to take the magazine out. And as a result, these magazines won't work in a Mark III because they don't have the little tab that's on the side of the magazine that's needed for the new mag lock uh, system to actually lock the mag in place. If you put this in a Mark III, it'll just slide right out. Because on a Mark II or Mark I, it snaps in down here rather than internally. Anyway, that's how you take them out. You can see that it's unloaded. Then the other thing about these pistols is from the Mark I to the Mark II, they introduced a slide lock right here. The Mark I's didn't have a separate slide lock. The safety was both the safety and the slide lock. If you put it on safe, you couldn't pull the slide back, and if the slide was back, it would lock the slide back, and you couldn't let it forward again. It doesn't work that way on this pistol. Safe or not, you can pull the slide back and lock it in place just like you would any other semi-automatic pistol uh, that's in a modern design by using the slide lock. The Mark I's didn't do that. That started with the Mark II's. Now this one has some special target grips on it, and as I said, it's got great target sights, and I understand from my buddy that the trigger on it is magnificent. So this is a Ruger Mark II. This is the only one I've ever seen that has a 10-inch barrel. Apparently, they're pretty common. I just haven't run into one before, and I think I'm going to take it out on the indoor range, and let's just see how accurate it is. Wow, very cool pistol. Bummer, I gotta give it back. Uh, but it is really a great pistol, a lot of fun to shoot. My goodness, these are magnificent uh, handguns. They are, when the, with the original one, the, what really put Ruger on the map in the first place, and there's a reason why. And if for some reason you've never gotten your hands on one, I encourage you to do so. They make them in a variety of models now in the Mark III. There's Target models, there's the 2245, so if you're a 1911 shooter, they've got the the grip angle of the 45, those are really cool. They got long barrels, short barrels, uh, and made out of different materials, or you can, actually there's lots of companies that will take these and really doll them up for you, make them really, really seriously accurate. I mean, they're, they're, they're really almost like the Ruger 1022. There's so many things you can do with these, it's almost endless. And they really start out, out of the box, a really great gun. This long 10-inch target model was a tremendous gun to shoot. And uh, I don't want to bore you to death with the same gun over and over again, but there is a big difference between the Mark II and the Mark III. Even so, this gun was fabulous. And uh, now, bummer, i got to give it back. Anyway, thank you very much for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe. Uh, that way we can let you know when new videos come out. We do them every week. And if you wouldn't mind, please share us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, all those wonderful... Uh, uh, internet places that you might visit. And if you would please join the National Rifle Association. They need your help. I'm going to put a, a link right here for you to do that. 
Uh, it'll take you to a spot on our website where you can save 10 bucks and you can join the NRA for less than the cost of one box of ammunition for a year. So if you've been thinking about joining but never have, this is a great opportunity to do it. Right now, our Second Amendment rights are under severe attack, and I don't think it's going to get any better. The NRA needs all your help. So please join. It would help everyone a lot to help us keep our rights. And if you get a chance and you're in San Diego, come on out to the P2K range. I teach here. I'm, I'm here all the time, shooting video here. If you happen to see me here, come on over and say hi. I'd love to meet you, and maybe we could shoot together. In the meantime, have a wonderful week. Thank you again for watching, and stay safe.